The first thing you're going to want to do is obviously download Mailbox app for iPhone or iPad. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the App Store and all you do is search for Mailbox. Once you have found the Mailbox app on the App Store, just simply click download and install. You'll then have to put in your, um, your username and password. Once Mailbox app has been downloaded, you can start it up. I've already put it in a mail section of my iPhone. Let's start up Mailbox. You'll get this welcome screen on Mailbox.com. Currently, you can only add Gmail accounts. That includes a mail, um, Gmail apps or Google apps. So if you've got a custom domain with Google, you can also add it. Let's add my Gmail account. I'm going to add an account that has never been used on Mailbox so you can see exactly how it works. Google will then ask you if you give it permission to give all the information to Mailbox. You'll, you can go through the list and see what Mailbox would like to retrieve. I'm just going to go down to the bottom and say accept. It's now verifying the email account. Now what it does is it asks you for a description, your, your name, your address and if you'd like to set this up as the default account. Currently we don't have more than one account so it will be the default account and let's just change this to um, personal. Okay great. Next what we're going to do is just press done. Once you have pressed done you'll see this current screen. This is where it explains to you how to use Mailbox. I have another video tutorial on how to use all the gestures on Mailbox if you need to do that. You can click it on the link below. Let's start, let's just say get started. Okay, so I ran through the um, tutorial quickly like you guys would have. If you didn't get it, I've got another video as mentioned. Just click on the link right here, if you can see that, or right below me, and you'll be able to go check that out. And I'll go into a more detailed description of how to use the gesture control on Mailbox app for iOS. As you can see, my email has now been aggregated into Mailbox app. Now, let's go through the top. Um, the top right means it's just where you can f um, create a new email. Everyone knows how to do that. If you're confused about it, um, just give it a try and you won't be anymore. The next thing is that um, tick. That tick is all your mail in your mailbox. So you'll see there that all my mail is there. That's including mail that skips my mailbox, my all mail, and goes into folders automatically. And then that... that um, that clock kind of thing is where you would check your emails that you marked for later. If you have any questions about Mailbox app, please don't hesitate to give me a shout. Also, check out all my other tutorials on how to use Mailbox app, how to use the gestures, how to add lists, how to change the settings, and a lot more on my channel. On the bottom right, and you click on it, the, the cropping tool then brings up a bar graph kind of thing, and you're able to take each edge like so, and you just crop the photo, let's bring that one out a little bit more, let's bring that in, and I've cropped